What's up guys, this is Robbie from Yeah Ice Tutter. I just wanted to um, make a new video. I haven't made a video in a long time. Um, you know, I was super motivated to make videos um, once I got laid off and um, I had all this time because of like, because of COVID, right? And then um, now I've been staying at home for months and I have all this time and I'm submitting resumes and applications for jobs and hardly anyone gets back to me. And then when they do get back to me, it's a phone or a Skype interview, which is the worst for me. Um, I know that most stutters hate the phone and I am one of those people that hate it, hate it, hate it. So Skype and phone calls are the worst. Um, my speech is terrible. I can't relax. I'm tense. I'm nervous and that makes me and that makes my speech worse um, whereas in person I I can kind of control it better um, because I think the one thing I hate worse than stuttering is embarrassing myself and when I stutter I embarrass myself um, at least that's to me because like, I don't know, I, I think some people have already grown to like full, fully ex accept that's a part of them and I'm on that path, but I just haven't accepted it 100% yet. So I hate going to interview and fucking up, right? Um, and, but that's what I've been doing currently because of the phone and the Skype is just not conducive to people who stutter who've grown up to hate these devices right talking on the phone skype zoom whatever for me i can talk way more fluently when i'm face to face with someone else so i've just been down in the dumps kind of feeling bad for myself just feeling like my life has no direction at, at this point because you know i just graduated college last year after serving in the military and since I graduated college I never had a job that I would consider staying at long term I've kind of been here and I've kind of been there and just nothing has been permanent um so I really thought that after college I would find something permanent and I would start my career and life would take off and just that's just not how it's been for me um so I jumped on LinkedIn after I had these feelings like my life has no purpose, I have no direction, I'm unemployed, um, I need to find some sort of work, something. Um, so I jumped on LinkedIn and I searched for people who have the jobs that I want. So I found this hockey executive and I reached out to him and I said, hey, um, Robbie, I recently graduated college. Um, sports, especially hockey is one of my passions. You know, I, I play hockey. Um, I've always dreamt of working in sports and he got back to me and he wanted to talk on Zoom, right? Dun, dun, dun. And so reluctantly, I was like, yeah, for sure. You know, let's, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk on Zoom. And I blew it. He was, I eventually had to be like, hey, I'm so sorry. I'm so nervous. And I have a speech impediment. Um, and he's like, oh no, that, that's totally fine. That's, that's cool, man. Um, you know, have, have you ever gone to speech th therapy? And I said, yeah, I have. As, as a kid, I went, um, and then when I was 18, I went to Hollins in Roanoke, Virginia, which was awesome. Um, I was basically fluent for like a year after that, but it just takes a lot of practice. 
And um, as an 18 year old kid, I just really, uh, I didn't put in the work that it takes to remain fluent. Um, but he's like, man, you know, I think you should get speech therapy, like even a 10% increase in fluency would probably have a huge impact on your, um, your confidence and your self, you know, how you view your self, your self esteem. And I was like, yeah, that's a, that's, that's, I, I mean, it, it probably would. And so I contacted my insurance company and they cover speech therapy. And since everything's um, remote right now, they actually cover it 100%, 100%. There's no copay. So awesome, right? And I actually have had two sessions so far. Um, you know, I've learned some breathing techniques. Obviously my speech isn't perfect because I mean, you, you, you know, you don't get healed in two sessions, right? But um, I've been doing that. I've been practicing my breathing and I just kind of feel like now um, I kind of, I'm working on the tools, I'm developing the tools that I need to get fluent to find a job and um, or a new job after I was laid off. Um, and I know that this this time has been hard for for us all, even people who don't have speech impediments, stutters, whatever. Um, millions of people are unemployed, not just you know, not just us. Um, but it is hard to interview over the phone or on Skype or on Zoom or whatever. Um, but that's what we've been doing. That's what the time calls for. And we got to adapt and accept it. Um, so now I have been, which is, I've been telling people uh, up front, hey, I stutter prior to or at the beginning beginning of the interview, which is something I've never done in the past. I would always um, not tell them because like I said, in person, I can kind of control it or cover it up more because like I said, the one thing I hate more than stuttering is embarrassing myself. And to me, when I stutter, it's embarrassing. Um, so I've been just closing it. I haven't gotten any negative comments, but I haven't gotten that job. So maybe they just can't tell me that it's affecting it or affecting my chances when maybe it is, but who knows? Um, but when I was feeling down, bad about myself, about my life or not having purpose, not having any self-worth, I, needed someone to pick me up, someone to tell me it's gonna be all right, this is not gonna last forever, um, and I wanna be that person for you. So if you're feeling like your life has no purpose, your life has no meaning, this sucks, and it's only worse because I stutter, I wanna be the person to tell you that it does suck for right now, but it's gonna get better. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I know the different states and cities are in different stages of reopening. In San Diego, we are open um, restaurants, 50% capacity, uh, gyms, 50% capacity, up to 100 people. So things are starting to bounce back. Hopefully it's a V-shaped bounce back, right? I'm sure you guys have heard about that. And it doesn't take the three years that they projected it will to get the economy back, even though who knows how long it will take. I know a lot of places have gone to have, have downsized, which my old job downsized, they're not bringing us back. Um, but yeah, I just wanna remind you, there's light at the end of the tunnel. It will get better and keep your head up. All right, thank you.